Hello and welcome back. So today I want to do a continuation from the tutorial I put out a few days ago regarding doing texture work in procedural objects inside the city skyline. So today, um, because I didn't really touch on it much before, I want to show you actually how to get the textures in and a different type of textures, okay? So we're going to be working with a few different things. We're going to use the flooring, which you can see on my screen now, which is what I used uh, for my tutorial, along with the uh, picture that I used I'm not going to use that one, but I'm going to use something very similar. So there are different types of textures you can use. You've got your square one, which you can see on the screen now. Nice and easy, square, flooring tiles, whatever you want to use it for. Then you can also do different ones. So depending on what you're making, it's depending on what you do. Um, one of the ones I used back when I did my series Shimmy Emma, uh, I did the posters. So I've got a nice poster here for the Rugby World Cup in 2019. Um, and I could take that into it and build posters like I did with the billboard and the sign I did yesterday. Also things like, you know, train station signs. So this is a sign for a custom train station that I was making to go inside to say that this way to go. So I'm going to show you how to do a basic texture. Uh, I'm using Photoshop. You can use GIMP or any other editing software you want as long as you save it correctly. Okay, so let's close all these down. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go find yourself an actual texture. So I've gone to textures.com and we're going to pick a texture that we like. I like this one. I don't know why I say I'm doing a little rundown European marketplace or something like that and I want these nice tiles. I quite like these ones. So I'm going to get them. I'm going to download them. Now on textures.com when you sign up for an account you get a load of free points you can use and you can use those credits to buy things with. So I've got that. So I'm now going to pull that into Photoshop. Okay, and now I'm literally just going to drag that, drop that in Photoshop. Nice and easy. So there's my texture. Now, a lot of times when you download them, they can download already as PNGs, in which case you just need to pop them straight into the folder, no issues. But in this case, this one downloads as a JPEG image, so won't be able to do that. A few other things you noticed from my tutorial before is that the images came in, they were quite bleached and quite bright. So we can hit that header schedule or you can do that in um, City Skylines, however you wish. So we're going to go down to the bottom here on Photoshop. We're just going to add a quick hue and saturation layer. I'm just going to make it slightly lower, slightly darker. Now this looks really bad, really low saturated, but in game it's going to heighten that and I will show you. So once we're done, we then want to save it. So make sure you save it as a PNG and we're going to put it into this file here. So this is the textures file. So it'll be whatever your computer's called, app data, local, colossal order, seat skylines, procedural objects, textures. And we're going to pull it in there, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to get that. So we'll go back to Photoshop, go file and save, export, sorry, and save for web. And that will give us the option of PNG. Always make sure it's PNG, otherwise it just won't work. Okay, now we go to save. Doesn't matter the resolution too much. I like to have it as a square normally, you can see it's not. However, in this case, the image is a uh, seamless image, so it's repeatable. I do recommend going for seamless images if you can, um, but in this case, you don't really need to, uh, and it just will repeat the way I want it to. So I'll just leave it the way it is. And I'll press save. Uh, and of course now I've got the PNG and that's my tutorial folder. I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna name it something a bit easier to, to find. So let's call it Moe's one maybe, just so I can find it, call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna save it in there. And then I'm just gonna move it into the folder we mentioned before. And then we'll jump into uh, see Skylines and make sure it's definitely there. Okay, so here we are in game and we are in the tutorial that I did the other day, funny enough. So, got our path and our little sign and now we're going to add in the texture that I put in because I don't like this red one anymore. So, we're just going to double check it's definitely there. Quickly delete this. I'm not going to go through how to actually put it down because you should have hopefully done that already. From seeing my previous tutorials, you'll know how to do it, but I'll give you a quick overlay. So, we're going to procedural objects texture management and then you see 45 textures we're going to refresh just make sure it loads and see if it changes it hasn't so what we're going to do is i'm just going to quickly press open 
double check it's definitely in there you can't see it on my screen but i've opened it it is definitely in there now so it must have refreshed automatically which is great when that happens so now we're going to uh find it and go for a procedural object helps if i can spell it of course and then we're going to use the square so click on that get that ready and i'm going to put it around to there i'm going to go convert to po as before Go to local textures and we're going to find the one I had. So most one, there it is. I'm going to put it down. Now as you can see, although I did uh, make this a little darker and lower the saturation, it is still quite bright. When you do it from Photoshop or any editing software you use, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, you have to kind of mess about with it a bit until you get it right. However, don't worry about it because in this you can just go to here and then make it darker. Look at that. That's nice. I like that. So now what we're going to do is just going to stretch it like we did before just to make it look good i hope so let's bring that all the way to the end don't worry while you're moving it's flapping around all over the place because you can put it in the right place when you get there just like this there you are i like that now i think it would look a lot better if it had like some buildings next to it so let's get some buildings on there just to give me something. Spread that road down. And actually, we won't. What we'll do is I will get rid of this little bonus thing. Just a bit of fun, isn't it? So we're going to get rid of this. And that will also get rid of the path that I've got in there. I'm going to use an invisible road to go right down the middle so cars can still drive down it. But I can have buildings either side. Just like a nice little little street now you can obviously decorate that and put some curbs around it that type of thing um there's a lot of uh, mods that i don't have on this account as i'm just using this as to show you stuff but uh, let's put a few buildings down i'm gonna do some shameless promotion and just put all my buildings down because why not so let's stick a load of buildings down Half of these aren't going to fit in here properly, but that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to use that one as well. And I'm also going to use, oh no. Look at that. And let's pop this one down. I like this building. There you go. Um, for good measure, let's put down a Wolfpack Diner and a skate Bar. And Renault's Pet Shop. So now as you can see what you've got, it's got a little path that goes down. It looks quite nice. Obviously I would, if it was my city, personally, I'd be moving all this in. Just right up against the curbs. Obviously this is completely up to you if you wish to do this or not. But I like to do it. As you can see then what I've got is I've got that nice little road. Now obviously ideally you'd want to put some curbs on it, detail it up to how you wish it to look. But there you go. And that's how you just make a stand stitch in Photoshop or GIMP or anything else you wish to use and just bring it into City Skylines and you can turn any normal road or any street into something that looks so much nicer bit more realistic the texture qualities are fantastic from texture.com so i do recommend it anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed the video it's just a quick short one for me um just bring you some more helpful tips and tricks so hopefully you've enjoyed it and this one goes along with the previous one i did there's so much more you can do uh that'll go into it if you need to know anything specific about anything that i've done in the past and you would just like to know how give me a shout on twitter i'd be more than happy to help Otherwise, guys, have yourself a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to support me on Patreon down below. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Have a good day. Bye.